Hello and what's up guys? Back again with this guitar. The it's actually Tanglewood Nevada Strat copy. The neck is Encore. I think you to those who are following me on my YouTube channel, I think you've seen the journey of this guitar. I demoed it as stock. You've seen the unboxing of this guitar, my ordeal with this guitar and how it came about to be this one now this gorgeous lovely guitar now uh, very playable uh, um, sounds great and we've i didn't mod it it's i just buy the uh, pick guard and or scratch plate and it's fully loaded it's got a uh, hss config configuration push pull for that coil split for this humbucker bridge all right so much for the details uh we're here today this is also a reminder to myself so uh, i'm making videos uh one um, purpose of it is that it reminds me uh in in future or somewhere that this is what happened so it's like my diary so uh, my controversial question is that is it worth it to buy an unbranded uh, or a cheap secondhand guitar and then you're gonna repair it or modify it or upgrade it is it worth it to do all that hassle versus buying a DIY kit so s start from scratch and then do it as you like or buy a cheap brand new guitar so cheap brand new guitar ranges from all sorts uh, good ones reliable ones to and not so good ones uh, one that you will throw out of your window versus obviously the question always is to buy a reliable branded guitar which got the question of your budget so let's go from there so branded guitars would be fender as i always love a strat or my guitars are s type or you'll go for gibson prs then this one i had hard time pronouncing the brand and i had to google it because i always call it sure s u h r and when I Google it, there's two pronunciation, British pronunciation, which is sir, and then the American pronunciation, which is sur. So I don't know the S-U-H-R, which one do you prefer? I always pronounce it as sure, but it's a sir or sur. Then the Ibanez, uh, we call it Ibanez before, but it's Ibanez. When I was back home in the Philippines, there's a surname like that, but it's a Ibanez. But it's Ibanez. When I, I, I came to the UK, it's Ibanez. Then you got Washburn, Jackson, Schechter. I don't know if I pronounce all this correct. Dean, E-S-P-L-T-D. Gretsch, Music Man. Uh, Charbel, Chapman Guitars. Court. You got, I don't know if it's a brand or... It's the type of the guitar, but I always call it Parker Fly. So, yeah, you got that one. Uh, on the cheap side would be Squire, Epiphone, Harley Benton. There are cheap Yamaha and there's high-end Yamaha. Same goes with Ibanez. There's cheap Ibanez. There's uh, high-end Ibanez. With the Washburn, they got Lion by Washburn. And I got that. Uh, that's the guitar that I've been using mostly in this channel before i bought uh, uh another guitar but that's my first guitar when i read uh, when i arrived in the uk i bought that one and i think i've mentioned loads of brands already um there are also like rock jam elevation gear for music uh etc uh, uh what is the other one from is it PMT from PMT their brand I forgot antiquity there there so they got their own uh, sort of brand 
uh, so there's East Coast for from Undertones and a lot more. I I I can't remember all of these brands. G and L, I think. Uh, yeah, right. So much for that. We are g- getting far from the topic. So go back to this guitar. Is it worth the hassle? I bought this from eBay. You can search if you like on eBay. Type um, electric guitar and then put repair. Meaning that guitar will be sold cheap because it's for repair. So this is our topic. Is it worth it buying a second hand guitar that is for repair or uh, the condition is not so great? That's why it's being sold really cheap. So this is 45 when I bought 45 pounds. And then you've seen the unboxing, you've seen my ordeal. And then I had to buy the bridge. That's the initial part that I had to buy. I bought the bridge because the tremolo bar got stuck here. It snapped and part of the tremolo bar, the screw area, is stuck in there. So I initially bought a replacement and then put back the original. So this is the stock bridge. All right. Then after that, I knackered or the neck was already knackered. I don't know what happened exactly. But I'm not very good as well with the truss rod. So it's probably my fault or the neck warped already. I don't know. So I had to buy a replacement neck, which is now Encore. I had ordeal with this one as well because the screw holes for the neck is also uh, different. So it's like I I made a new uh, screw holes here. But apart from that, it's fine. Um, I sort of manage. Then I changed the plate guard or... Uh, this one scratch plate it's fully loaded it's because I already like the pickups from the stock um, Nevada because it really sounds stratty uh, it's just that the volume knob tone knobs as well as the five way uh, switch is making noise there's crackling noise uh, so it needs replacement so instead of that I bought a fully loaded and replaced it with this one the trouble was, in this area, it doesn't fit nicely, so I had to shape that. And then the screw again, screw holes is wrong. So this is a bit wonky, but I don't care. This will be like a prototype guitar as long as it's working. So you've seen it. I've, I've done a couple of videos already with this one. And it's working. Right. Um, so we're 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 not gonna be uh, doing like demo, sound demo, etc. Et and for you guys who is getting bored with the talking, sorry, but the topic at the moment is this one because I wanted to express myself. Uh, this is like talking to myself. Like, oh, what have you done? Uh, you've you've gone through with this one. Is it worth it? So, I also bought before, this was before, I'll just put a link, uh, a DIY kit, a Strat DIY kit uh, on eBay as well. Uh, it was actually my mate who bought it for me. He paid for it and then I just replaced it. I reimbursed him. So, that's uh, the right term. So, I reimbursed my mate who bought the guitar. Now, the problem with that is that the headstock needs shaping because it, it doesn't have any so he's very good with diy he did that for me he's also good with painting so he sp- spray painted the guitar um so that that was his part uh he did the shape of the, the headstock and the spray paint so when i paid him the, the guitar was 68 pounds then he just asked 80 for the whole lot the spray paint and uh, the neck i assembled it it's working fine but there's still something like not quite right with that guitar like i think the action is a little bit high 
and I don't know it, it, it's it's a cheap uh, DIY kit and the the obviously it was just spray painted and I think the neck maybe because I'm not a luthier so it's not as I wanted like it's a high action and there's something wrong I can't pinpoint it I think th that's the main ones for that guitar. The tone is all right. Um, some of my mates love the tone of that guitar. Ah, and the other thing that he did, I asked him to put like, because uh, this is very, very pointy. So he removed that and just a curve or it's not really curved, but he just <laughs> chopped the, the pointy bit here. But then it's still not as nice as the fender and... Uh, I think Ibanez, Ibanez got more round, but both sides, Fender only did one here for the modern player, I think. Anyway, uh, it's it's hard for me to explain all, all those. But all that hustle of doing all sorts when I'm not expert on, on that matter. So DIY kit, I said to myself, stay away from it because it's better to buy something like this one, second hand. I don't need to spray paint. I don't need to change the headstock or do all sorts. So that that was the the plan, and I've experienced as well buying a cheap brand new guitar. That one, uh, my Washburn Lion by Washburn. This one, the one that I always uh, use, and it was a good guitar. Again, the action is really high. There's something wrong with the neck, and I had to. Uh, send it this was after after many years already like a couple of years or more like three years four years of use when I decided I will send it to the shop for maintenance like they did the action uh, intonation etc which made a big difference with that guitar uh, it's already nice but pickup wise and and all but i actually modded it as well changed the pickup with Wil wilkinson hot pickups the humbucker and then like a uh, vintage neck pickup by wilkinson so only two pickups the middle pickup i didn't touch it and then obviously the um setup i paid for the setup and i was the one who changed the pickups so that's the ordeal of my buying a cheap guitar but it's not so much of a problem than doing a DIY or buying this uh, really cheap guitar that you need to repair and then I've I've uh, used branded guitar my mate got Fender Strat it's it's really nice uh, I think you're paying for the quality the hardware the feel of the guitar it's it's perfect but the sound to be honest with you to be like uh, as truthful as i can i don't think the the sound of a branded guitar like that fender that i use is not the super super high end i think when he bought it it's a modern player something um it's around 800 pounds maybe Versus, obviously, this guitar, uh, the Lion by Washburn, was a 129, uh, what do you call that one? A package, like there's an amp, gig bag, a cheap um, cable, tremolo bar, Allen wrench. So yeah, like it's a whole set, um, 129, and his guitar was uh, 800 when he bought it. Um, so obviously I don't know I, I, I didn't feel like it was super special 800 versus 129 he admitted as well that he enjoys playing my guitar cheap guitar obviously it feels cheap as I said the, his guitar feels amazing it's Fender but the sound he enjoys my guitar I, I think it's got to do it because it's a Strat single coil. It should have been played as like how Strat. He's a metal guy. Mine is HSS uh, configuration. It's a hot pickup. So probably that, that was it. 
Then the DIY kit, which I sort of copied his uh, guitar. It's blue. His guitar is like blue, metallic blue, I think. And he was also amazed because I paid like 80 altogether. It's 68 pounds, but with the spray paint, etc., I paid 80. And for the 80 guitar versus 800 guitar, the massive difference in terms of price, he still enjoyed that guitar. Um, again, the feel, the looks, it's cheap. You can't win with the 800 guitar. But with the sound, he still enjoyed that 80 pounds guitar. Uh, even myself, when I played his guitar, it's, it's, there's nothing special. Uh, Unless probably I, I will be playing uh, 1,000, 2,000 pounds uh, Fender. I haven't tried. So, right. Um, so, where are we heading with this one? Uh, I think the issue there would be budget. Am, am I willing to buy or spend 800 pounds, 1,000 pounds for, for a guitar or just spend like maybe 300 maybe less than 500 uh, pounds which i think if i push my budget up to that i could have purchased a decent guitar but i don't know why i up to now i still doesn't want to buy a, a high-end guitar there's one high-end guitar that i got uh, it was sent to me by uh, one of my youtube um, subscriber um, paul he enjoyed my videos, so he sent me his first guitar. It's uh, it's a Washburn guitar. Uh, I can probably put the link as well. It's a beautiful, beautiful guitar from the weight of the guitar, the paint, everything, hardware, neck, everything is beautiful with that guitar. The sound, uh, but because it's an old guitar, the fret is uh, wear off and there's like dead um strings around 11 12 13 i think fret there's uh, when you bend it just kills it because uh he set his action low uh the the frets are worn out i uh, there, there's something that needs to be done with that guitar the other thing with that guitar even him didn't like it it's because it's individual switch there's lots of combinations that you can do. You can turn on the three. It's an HSS as well configuration. You can turn all three pickups because it, it's got individual um, switch. But the trouble is, it's not as quick as sliding it like this or swiping. So if I want them to, I need to flick two switches. And if I want three, flick three switches when you're recording it's fine but when you're doing gig you might miss or it's just a preference or getting used to it but i didn't like it because of that he didn't like it as well because of that but the tone is amazing with that guitar so yeah uh let me know your thoughts guys this is quite a long story isn't it uh, let me know your thoughts. Uh, is it worth it buying this kind of guitar which got the hassle of changing everything from the bridge to this plate guard to the neck? And then obviously uh, setting it up. It, it took me a while as well to set it up. And the first one, as I said, the neck was warped, I think, or something is wrong where this is the action is too high. Uh, the intonation as well. So I had to remove the spring for the saddle because when you intonate, when there's the spring there, it won't intonate properly. When you remove it and put the, the saddle close to the very end of it, and then I got the intonation correctly for the E. Then the A is almost the same. There's just tiny gap. And with the spring, you can't do it. So I had to remove the spring as well. So yeah, this guitar is like Frankenstein. There's all sorts going on with this guitar. But I'm loving it.
thanks for watching guys and i think that's it for now it's quite a long uh story for us but if you like this kind of content where we're just talking to each other i'll probably do some more of this stuff um, but i wanted to hear from your end what are your experiences uh your thoughts about uh, our topic today and we'll see you next time guys and if you're new to my channel please subscribe it will help me a lot and you can follow my journey bye for now cheers god bless